Okay guys, so I'm sure by now a lot of you elevator enthusiasts know about the Dover Buzz. Dover Buzz. But the question is, what is the Dover Buzz? What makes that little buzz sound when the elevator passes floors, goes into fire service, and goes into nudge mode? Well, today I'm going to answer that question. So as you guys know, pretty much a month ago, I'd say, I had the opportunity uh, of pulling this Dover Impulse car panel from the elevator at the uh, demolished building. And uh, not only did I get the car panel, but while I was in the elevator car for the last time, I uh, got my screwdriver and uh, some wire cutters and I pulled out the Dover Buzz on this elevator. And today you guys are going to get to see the Dover Buzz and uh, what it actually is. So here we go. This right here, this little thing here, is the Dover Buzz. That's right. It's a Star Micronics model PMB-24 24 volts DC mini buzzer and uh, these things are pretty much found on pretty much all like 1980s Dover impulse elevators um, and uh, they continue to use these buzzers I'm pretty sure pretty uh, ThyssenKrupp uh, continued to use these buzzers probably up until 2010 when they they got the new grocery beep on their elevators but this here is the Dover buzz this did come straight off of this elevator and uh, these are uh, very common. You hear the Dover buzz on uh, thousands of Dover elevators. And um, this is also the kind of buzzer that Simplex used in their fire alarm panel. So if you have a Simplex 4001 fire alarm panel, 4002, or a 4100, um, your panel has this same uh, mini buzzer on it. So, um, yeah, here it is. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and uh, test this thing out. It takes 24 volts DC. And uh, I got my two 12 volt batteries back here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, hook this thing up to power and test it. So, um, this, to, uh, this side uh, is the positive. That wire's the positive. And that one's the negative, as you guys can see by the markings. So, let's go ahead and. Uh, Make sure I have the right wires here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the camera down while I tie these uh, two wires together. Just the uh, the negative wires. I have to twist them together so they stay. I'm going to uh, nut them together and uh, let's undo the wire nut on the other wire. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. And um, let's get the camera focused in on this uh, the buzz and we're gonna go ahead and uh, just touch the wire to the positive and we're gonna go ahead and test this thing out so first we're just gonna do a, a floor passing chime I'm just gonna uh, to momentarily tap the wire as as if this buzzer was actually sounding to indicate that the elevator was passing floors as it uh, commonly did on a, a daily basis so let's do this And now we're going to do fire service, fire service or nudge mode. There you guys go. And just for fun, we'll do the uh, ThyssenKrupp buzz, which is uh, just, a, just a little bit longer. There you guys go. Not too much to see here, but I get these wires. Those wires can't touch 
or I'm going to be uh, shorting something out. So let's, uh, I just have to be, make sure those two wires do not touch each other. But um, there you guys go. That is the Dover elevator buzz right there. And uh, there is the model again. If uh, the camera will focus in on that. There we go. Thanks for watching, and that'll be it.